Igor asks, how do you solder the coax cable on an O3 air unit? Not the pads, but the cable itself. I did that in a regular way and lost signal at 200 meters. Um, Igor, there's a specific way to solder a coax cable, and it's hard. On a teeny tiny little coax like the air unit, it's, it's, it's very hard. And if you're not very good at soldering, you will screw it up. And I don't want to be like, oh, no, I believe in you. You can do anything if you try hard enough and watch enough YouTube videos and study. It's very hard. Um, is there, like... Um, let's see if I can find... These are all much bigger. How to solder a UFL connector on a five millimeter coaxial cable. Here we go. No, that's not right. Um, yeah, here's Guys, a very it's old to video from me. You don't need to be ashamed. There's a fix. It's called the Tyrannus Antenna Mod, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. Oh. Look at, my, look at that music The first shit. thing to do whenever you're working on your Tyrannus is to take the battery out. You don't want anything energized while you're in there poking around with a screwdriver. Listen to this guy. Potentially short something and damage something. Seven years ago. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to flip the top switches away from yourself. And the reason for that is that when you open the I'll Tyrannus, to this the guy's switch channel. may fall out of the, the case. And if it does, then you won't know which way to put it back in so it's, it's facing the correct direction. If you flip all the top switches like away from yourself your before hands. you open the Tyrannus, then if one does... What's that? <laughs> my hands look fat in that video? <laughs> fall out. Yeah, they kind of do. Direction to put it back in again. I mean, and then you, statistically, I was thinner then than I am now. You're going to remove the six screws from the back like of the just, Tyrannus I don't know. and separate the halves of the case. Maybe the stuff's in the I'm right place. a little bit rough here when I pull this oh. open. I'm not as delicate as I should have been. I tried. Look how calm he sounds. Uh, and you can also see that He's the not arrogant top at all. right switch, which I'm going to show you. He didn't even say you're going to learn something today. It's gone with the back half of the case, which is here. Okay, okay. So that so where's There's the solder? nut that goes down over the top of the uh, uh, One thing stayed the same over the years. This is a 19-minute video. <laughs> I still took way too long to get to the point or just the right amount of time. All right, so... <laughs> uh, some Check people this out. install a UFL connector on their Tyrannus as part of this mod, but my perspective is that I'm probably never going to do this again, so the idea that I'm going to have a connector on there to plug and unplug, I'd rather Christ. just solder the coax YouTube myself. YouTube keeps crashing, keeps uh, running out Soldering the coax is pretty difficult, and it may be easier for you to solder on the UFL connector versus uh, doing the, the coax. But I have heard some people say that soldering on the UFL connector, they uh, they, they get worse uh, SWR, which is a measure of the quality of your antenna. So it's a toss. Why a knife and not a wire stripper? Because the wire stripper cuts the insulation accidentally. So you had to get just the tiniest little bite on so, the outer uh, sheath this, and uh, not the braid. To do this, it's not going to be easy. So uh, you, you just pick your poison, I suppose. You can see here I've removed the outer sheath of the coax. Well, you could see if my camera wasn't focused. Sorry about that. I've removed the outer sheath of the coax, and I'm uh, folding back the wire braid, and I'm going to just twist the wire braid together into one little bundle. You want to make really sure that there are no spare wires, no little strands sticking out and not getting to be part of the bundle, because if any of those strands touch... All right. This requires a very, very fine touch and a sharper knife than I'm using, to be honest with you. Uh, you got to not cut the inner wire and just cut the sheath. I find just making a few little, almost indentations, almost scoring it, and then pulling it off with my fingernail seems to work the best. And here it is. Uh, you want about a millimeter of insulation between the braid, the folded back braid, and where the exposed center wire is. If you could get less than a millimeter, that'd be even better, but you want to make sure just an add. Close the right. length of center conductor. Right. Is going to be a this so far? And it's going to affect the antenna characteristics camera won't zoom in tight enough, etc, etc, etc. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to show you, this is a, a loop close-up 
of the finished joint and you can see I feel okay about this. I don't love. So we gotta solder it down with the center wire here, the braid there. We gotta not melt all this shit. We gotta not cut these wires. It's, it's hard. And uh, most people aren't going to do it successfully.